Represent you, DLA. This is my shit. Hello, hello. Hi, Tima. Hi, Tima. Oh my gosh, it's so good seeing all your beautiful faces. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this special Wise I Should Talk episode. Today, I'm very excited to be doing this panel discussion with these amazing people who have, you know, volunteered their, their insightful thoughts, their amazing minds, their voices um, to come and talk about something that's very important today. Because I think all of us, all of us on this planet have experienced this in some kind of capacity. And this kind of relationship is very special and unique. And it's called friendships. What are friendships? How do we define them? What are the different things that come about? And also, how, do, how does culture, race, um, finances, how do all of these things impact the way we relate to others, especially when we're talking about within a, a friendship relationship? All right, so let's go into a fun truth or false. So whenever I say, um, everyone could just say true or false. And then if you actually have something really passionate to say about that, why you chose that answer, you let me know and then we can hear it. So true or false category. Your friends are a reflection of yourself. True. False. True. Like somewhat. True. Yeah. True. False. Eva? Somewhat. Huh. False. Oh, okay. So can Not somebody always. represent the true and somebody represent the false? Who's really feeling like they got some real, some strong to say? I'm in the middle. Oh, there's no middle here. Oh. Come on. Where is the middle? There's no middle. We love the extremes. <laughs> Choose one side. Yeah. <laughs> the extreme is for, for like one hour. <laughs> or okay, let me, let me hear both arguments and I'll decide. Yeah, who feels like they could argue for the truth? That's uh, all good, man. That's fine, by the way, to be in the middle. But I'll agree, argue for the truth. I'll say the truth is um, the reason your friends are a, a reflection of you and why that is true is because I feel, I know for sure that um, the ones you associate with yourself are kind of like the situations and the path that you necessarily not completely going to take. But for the majority of your life, uh, that will determine on what aspect of um, not only success, but also views that you're going to have in life. And those views are going to necessarily reflect on you as well. So mm -hmm. your perspective of life and how you view life and how you view people uh, is a reflection of the interactions you had and who are the best interactions you had for yourself, your closest friends. So I think it's very true that a, a great representation of who you are is from your friends. Okay. I have something for the true side. When, uh, when I say that my friends are a reflection of me, it's kind of go back, goes back to what you talked about, about values, my core values and my morals. All of my friends can represent that. Like they are kind, they are giving, they are not judgmental. They treat each person with respect. You will never see a person that I call my friend, like, I don't know, out here ro like robbing people. Like it just would never make sense. So when it comes to like core values, all of my friends can represent me. Maggie, are you sure they won't be robbing people? <laughs> are you going to rob someone? <laughs> <laughs> okay, false. Let's go. Let's hear it. Who's I represented? Add something for the truth. Oh, okay, truth. Okay, go ahead. Add. I, I feel like if you want to admit it or not, sometimes you start acting like your friends. It's not like like on things that are really important, like on small things. Basically, things they say, for example. Like sometimes people use some words all the time. And if it's your friend, sometimes you're going to pick it up. And it's like, for example, I consider you about to be my friend. Okay? So he likes... Sometimes he likes the same things that I do. Like for example, you know, we like the same sports. We like watch, we like watching the same things. I'm not saying he's basically me, but there's a reflection of me. When I see him, I see myself sometimes in, in the things he does. You know, so mm -hmm. I feel like definitely your friends are a reflection of you somehow. No, 100 percent, mm -hmm. maybe 40, 30 percent, sometimes 50. You don't know. So <laughs> yeah. he had a percentage. Right. <laughs> well, okay. False. Let's hear it. Okay. False. So I said, I said false. And I think what Jesus said about the percentages is actually a good way to, to try to understand. No, don't that, try know? to be in the middle. Say, we got Tima in the look, middle. Tima's in the middle. Don't try no, to do that. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, I can, I can, uh, how do you say it? I can have a friend. See, I, I say, I mean, say I see this guy every single day. 
mm-hmm. at the soccer field in the neighborhood. You know, we play together every single day. But after the game is over, you know, we, we just like hang out the field, talk real quickly. Everybody goes home. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll say that guy is like someone who parties a lot, who goes out every time. You know, that's not really my lifestyle. Since I see that guy every day, we connect on, on football. We talk about it, you know. I would call that guy my friend. We're in the same neighborhood. He's my boy, you know. We play, we connect with, in that certain area, right? So I can have a friend. Maybe I connect with him on a, on a different thing, you know. But he's a reflection of me only in that category. I don't know if, if what I'm saying is, if you, if you guys can understand what I'm saying. No, I get know? what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Right. So that person is a reflection of you in through a certain lens right but it's it doesn't encompass your whole self because that's very deep and complex you know what i mean Mm -hmm. right you're gonna have have a collection though bro you're gonna have like a collection of friends that will represent like multiple different sides of you Mm -hmm. right Yes, no, why, that's, that, that's true. I, I agree with that. But and what which I'm saying is why, Iba, you're not arguing mm-hmm. for false. You're actually arguing way much more for true. We're mm-hmm. changing mm-hmm. people's minds, you know? Iba, <laughs> <laughs> <Eva, laughs> you're arguing for true. <laughs> that's what the, I think the, that, was, the reason, that wasn't see, my the, point. The, the, the reason I said false is that it's not, it's not black or white. You know, the way that you can see, you can see someone's friends and be like, this is exactly how this person is. I don't think yeah. it's, you know. Yeah, okay. Well, it's, yeah. You people, I said <laughs> it's a representation of yourself. I didn't say it's a copy of a carbon copy of you. Yeah, but you but, but so, my thing it, is. It, 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 but, uh-huh. Yeah, tell me. Sorry, I don't mean to mm-hmm. intrude. Yeah, but no. <laughs> I, think I, I think I agree with Ibrahima because what I was saying was even all of your friends themselves are not the same. So if all of your friends are not the same, but you're still friends with them, then it's not like, same way, like, since your friends are not representative of each other, then they cannot, um, they cannot represent you. Just represent you. Yeah, right. because okay. they're not representative of each other. Here's the thing, let me say this. You are exactly the same. Let I think I just want to you. myself. You, you have like different like sections of yourself that behave differently depending yeah. on what's going on. So all those friends that you have, when you take all of them, yes. all of the specific things they have within themselves, you add, mm-hmm. you, like you can kind of try to construct you by picking things from mm-hmm. those friends. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. And so that means you're arguing for true too. Yeah, so you're all in truth. I don't even. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. But then again, it's important, I think, to say that those people might do things that are not really representative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just you know. Yeah. That's that's the main point here, really. You know. That's That's true. So we're talking about the pieces that reflect you. Yeah, I think those are your friends. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's it's very interesting because like. Everybody also has uh, different meters and criteria for how they set up friends. Because remember, we talked about it, how some people may call some people friends that are not really that close to them. So, like, it depends on how you also define friends. Because for me, like, I will say, like, my core friends, yeah, I would say they're all reflections of different parts of myself. But people that I call acquaintances, hell no. And people that I don't associate with at all, that there's a reason why. Because they don't reflect any of my morals. Yeah. So I think, you know, it's like, it depends on how you define friend. Again, it goes back to that. Yeah. Okay. I think there's an old saying, too, like, um, all heads, you know, my pops used to tell me, like, yeah, show me your friends. I can tell who you are. So it goes kind of... Yeah. I mean, it's, I believe it's true, too, though. I think it's so true. Because, you know, even if somebody does something that you don't necessarily do, like, obviously, there's got to be a component of their personality that vibes with yours. Mm-hmm. there's got to be something that you've accepted like unless they do something that's really like out there that you don't agree with then that's not your friend you most likely won't connect with them mm-hmm. you normally yeah. cut those people out immediately as soon as you see something that's like you know oh whoa i can't deal with that you know so the next one best friends forever true or false what the heck does that mean best friends forever that phrase like if your best friend is forever best friends forever true or false I don't have a best friend, and that's for a reason. Oh, shit. Okay. It's, I, I, don't, I think it's, I don't know if for me as a man, it's a little different, too. But 
know. You ain't got no wait, 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 Robel. What you mean by that? Wait, wait, hold up. <laughs> I mean, like best, best. I don't know. If, uh, I don't necessarily agree with the best friend term because best yeah. friend term is kind of like used very loosely. So it's kind of like uh, got diluted in that form. Like, oh, bestie, my best friend, bestie, my best friend. You hear that all day. Do I, you know, I, I just, I think it's more of a, if there's somebody I'll consider as close to a best friend would be considered like a brother to me. Mm. So I'll, that's the category that I associate my really, really, really uh, forever type of friendships. Okay. Will be my brothers mm. and sisters. Okay. I see. I see what that. And is that category forever, though? Will they stay in that category forever? That's that's the. the so well, you can exit depending most, on. That's a good question. Most <laughs> definitely. Most definitely. Forever. Okay. Oh. Lou, Maggie, go ahead. For me, the way I see like a best friendship and the whole for everything, I see it as like a marriage. You know, when you enter it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> When you enter it, you hope that it's going to be forever, but it's only going to be forever if you're both willing to put in the work. That's how, that's why I compare it to, to a marriage. I have best friends and I, and I want them to stay my best friends to, uh, forever. But, you know, we all live in different countries. We all get busy with life and, and everything. And the, and the older we're going to grow, you know, Life is only gonna get busier, but if we put in the effort to like check up on each other, write to each other, call each other, and make sure that we are okay and we are present throughout the most important mo like moments, then yeah, that friendship can can sustain a lifetime, just like a marriage. So mm -hmm. it is possible only if you really put in the work throughout the years. It can be forever. Okay. And then, and then when you say best friend, are you comparing like? different kind of friends and then you'd say okay this one is my best and then this one nah uh, it's not that best but it's kind of no no, like no 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 listen the phrase says best friends forever it's not about comparing your friend groups the people that you consider to be your brothers like robel defined for him it's he used the term brothers for some people they actually say that's my best friend that's mm -hmm. like my closest friend that's like my sister that's like my brother that's family is that kind of status forever? Is that something that's forever, or is that something that you find it actually fluctuate or changes? Oh, no, I mean, it's, it's not gonna forever. Have to change at some point if you guys don't put in the work, like Maggie said. Okay, Ibo, did you want to say something? Yeah, I I think uh, it's not forever. Yes, I mean it's exactly what they said. Really, you know, I think it depends on because people can change. You know, no matter how. Uh, Weird that might seem. People you think you know really well, yeah, can actually change and very surprise you very much. You know, mm -hmm. so that's very that's real. So yeah, even sounds like you're talking from experience. He's like it surprise <laughs> you. They will surprise you. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so the yes, next one. It's, it's not forever. You have to always be on um, the lookout. Yeah. Oh, Atima, what were you gonna say? I I literally agree with everything what everyone says. For me, when I was like in middle school, that was my first time using the word best friend. And it turns out that we weren't really best friends because we fell apart. We, out, we outgrew each other. Mm -hmm. And that kind of hurt. For me, I always compare a friendship to almost like a relationship. Yeah. Because like you invest so much time in it. And when friendships fall apart, like, you, your heart your heart breaks in a sense it may not be in the same sense as like an intimate partner but your heart still breaks so for me that's why I don't use that word loosely I don't even use it at all mm. for me the only person I would call my best friend is my sister and I think that's the highest form of friendship once, it, once you view someone as your sister or your brother then they're your best friend but I but I also feel like I don't know I also feel like when you're in a certain place in your life you feel like this person is your best friend but at the same time that friendship may not be reciprocated so I might call that one my I might call that person my best friend but am I their best friend Ooh, that's a good. Oh, that kind of. You know, 
Mm -hmm. Ooh, that, that, that hit my, so, my soul. I don't know. Like, you I might consider like them to be your best friend, but do they consider you to be consider you friend? your best friend? So it's like, so, mm -hmm. is, is, so is the status of best friend, is that kind of reciprocated? You know? I, I, just, I don't. People get caught up in believing it more than anything. Uh, to me, it's like, okay, I got into... Uh, this is a story. What okay? type of labeling are you talking about, bro? Are you saying, what are we type of labeling? <laughs> 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 yeah, I feel like that's the thing, you know? Most guys are like, yo, let's just keep doing our thing and we'll see what happens. But, you know, it's so not one of friendship. Dude, we're talking but, about friendships, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying, let's not get caught in the. Ah, uh, the relationship. Uh, we're not talking about defining your relationship with your it's significant not chemistry. It's not chemistry. What it's not. Mean? I'm not saying it's. A, I'm saying it's kind of like it because. Oh no! I mean, what, they understand. They're just messing the, around um, over here. Uh, I'm just. Uh, but but what just I'm messing around. Is, like no, let's I, say I get into I get into an accident on the freeway. My shit's down. Like I'm sad and everything, and I'm like. Shit, like I'm really depressed, right? I don't even know what to do. And I take I pick up my phone and I call Robert. I'm like, yo, bro, I just got into a car accident. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. Like, I think I'm I'm losing my mind right now. Robert pulls up and then he gets me straight. Like, listen to me. We're gonna get your car, we're gonna bring it home. Something as simple as that. Like, I was just confused, I was just lost. And then he did that to me on the spot. Like Okay, I'm like, yeah, Rubel now is my best friend ever. I'm not thinking now. I'm like, this, this guy got my back. This is my guy right here. This is my brother. That's it. Keep pushing. Maybe, you know, Rubel could have been there like, shit, I can't get to you right now, though. Like, I'm doing something. I'm still like, that's still my guy. He could have pulled up. But if so, he do that, then I trust him. So I don't have to be about, like, and oh, naming him depending on what happened. Like, I think that's a lot of, like, so are you so so are you saying like that? So are you saying you don't have to say the title you don't, you're my best friend for someone to be your best friend? I think I think it, it takes away it takes mm -hmm. away from what you guys can be and mm -hmm. it also puts a toll on the other person because the other person has another life too. What if he has another but, friend? What if he has another friend that he he grew up with that he calls his best? What about you? What about him? Like, it's, it makes it hard. Can I but, say something? Sorry, go ahead. What? Oh, she froze. So, I do believe that you don't have to, like, name it. You don't have to you label don't. it for it to be real. But with my best friend, with my best friend, just to be, you know, just to make it clear that you don't feel something for someone that she may not feel for you. Like, you don't put more weight into it that she does like we were really close and and we would talk every day and she became like a sister to me that one day I actually told her I was like I think you're like my closest friend you're like my best friend and she told me yeah you are mine too I think there's no issue into actually verbally saying it I think it solidifies it you don't have to say it. like I don't want it to sound like a whole relationship but like in, in right. many ways it is in many ways it is like with my like with my closest friends like you you go through something in life and they've helped you and it doesn't have to be like this huge thing that they've pulled up for it's like little things you know the person you can call to cry with and laugh with talk talk about boys with and after a while you realize that whatever goes to what, what whatever happens in my life this is the first person i'm calling this is the first uh this is the person whose opinion matters so much. And you voice it like, hey, you're my best friend. And when she said, you're my best friend too, it just solidified it. So I think it's important if you don't want to get into something and you feel like it may not be re uh, reciprocated, you just say it. You just shut up, ask and tell him. I, That's how I think. I, I think I go back and forth because I feel like, you know, there is, I think it's important to acknowledge it and to speak it, but then also you don't have to. I agree with that. And I also mm -hmm. feel like there's some people who actually say it, but then they don't actually back it up with action. So I still yes. would prefer the action more than the label. Yeah. Like I actually would prefer the action without the label. I prefer that. Cause I've had some people say like, I'm your best friend, I'm your bestie. And then when, sh when shit really hits the fan, they're not really around. 
And so I would prefer someone who's actually being a, a best friend or a good friend to me. That's what I'll say, a good friend. Because I don't even think I'll give that title to anybody in this lifetime. <laughs> I feel like I, I, I definitely agree with you, Aisha. I think you don't have to say that someone is your best friend. But I feel like when you say it, it kind of sets the standard. Oh, like, yeah. oh, hey, I gave you this title. So I expect you to meet these things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's pressure. It's a lot of pressure. What's going over there? You're putting pressure. Yeah, it's pressure. You're putting pressure because when you say I'm your best friend, it's like this girl tells you, "Oh, I love you," and then you're like, "I guess I gotta say I love hey, you." Hey, chill, 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 chill. I, I don't know what y'all talking about. I think y'all need to do another conversation about these relationships. Putting pressure, okay? Okay, but, okay. Uh, let's move on to the next thing here because I feel like wait, one more question, Aisha. Yeah, go ahead. So, are you saying I know I don't know who said this, but so do you think you can have more than one best friend or no? That's the oh, that's goal. a good yes. one. Best best is one position. There's no there's not <laughs> best is one position. <laughs> that's why it's, it's it's hard to give it to someone because friendship fluctuates and sometimes. The person that can get your back at this moment might not have the time to do it. And then you're giving the title to this one, but guess what? Creating friendship with whoever gets your back when there's a situation, and it's so much more than that. I believe you can have more than one best friend, by the way, because I literally have two. And uh, I have two, and uh, they are, like it's a guy and a girl. The names are like some. detail. <laughs> and I love both of them in a very different way and both of them are my best friends like in I don't know how else to explain it I feel like if you <laughs> see both friendships it makes sense but to like explain it like that and I just also wanted to say saying that like literally saying that someone is your best friend telling them that yes it adds a certain level of expectations and maybe you may see there's pressure but I don't feel like that's a negative thing when, when I told, you know, like, Sahon, hey, you are my best friend, and she told that back to me, it just cemented the fact that we, we are in each other's life in, like, a different level for, like, for, for everything. Like, if she's going through something, she knows that I'm there for, like, her. So it's not a bad thing. Like, she just knows that whatever is happening, Maggie is there for me. So let's stop seeing this as like this pressure type thing. Like I mean, it, it, it is pressure because there's expectations for you to meet. Well, it is pressure. It's there's nothing wrong with pressure, but it just it depends on how someone reacts to it. That's it. You mm -hmm. see, like, if I fail to like meet certain standards at certain times, then you know it breaks it. No. It's uh, uh, what you talking about? If you call somebody your best friend and then you going through a rough time and they don't show up, you're not gonna feel some type of way. Like That's what you're saying. Show. You're no, not gonna. No, I'm, like, I'm gonna like. Of course, uh, I'm gonna get hurt. But like, any friend would show up. You know, like when you go through something. No, and not any friend. There's. It's only certain kind of friends that be showing up when it's real, real time, cutthroat. Yeah. yeah nice. I'm showing up. So it's not like a bad thing. It's like. A, it's a ah, cool. let's move on to the next thing because we could be stuck on this best friend thing forever. Ha! <laughs> best friend forever. Yeah, nobody picked up on that. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the gender category. So we're going to play a little game of who is more likely to. All right. You like someone and they start liking them too. Who is more likely to in terms of gender? I don't understand the question. It's a gender category. It's a game of who is more likely to. Do you think women or men like um, exemplify this more in their friend groups? So the first question or the first statement is, you like someone and they start liking them too. Based on your experiences, who have you seen exemplify this more? Women or men? Women. 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 Any other? Yeah. I'm, I'm confused about the question. I'm confused. <laughs> the state, it's not a question, it's a statement. You like someone oh. and then they start liking, so they start liking the same person. Do you see this more with women or do you see this more with men based on your experience? Women, easy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> women are right or die. If you hate someone, they're going to hate I'll say, you. yeah. All right. Okay. I the think, next. I, think, you know, I don't want to make statements here, but I think, yeah, women. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't wanna, you know, play it safe. I think, 
I mean, yo. <laughs> I feel I like I feel like I've seen this with men, so I'm. I, I don't. I've seen this with men. I'm trying to ask, but but I think generally wow. men are more like you know carefree, relaxed, like uh, whatever. Oh please! Yeah. I've seen so many guys who like who who do this thing of competition. They'll see a woman that they were never considering, but then when their friend is like, "Yo, she's actually kind of beautiful." They start being like, "Oh, well, she's actually not that bad." Like, I feel like you guys have a lot of group oh, think too. So I don't know what y'all talking question, about. That that, that, exists, that exists. That exists. That happens with you guys That's too. True. Don't act like yeah. That exists, but it's more likely. It's more <laughs> likely to, uh, to go to the same oh. guy. Yeah. No, no, on I that agree. one, I want to say I I, I want to say I don't know. I just understood the question actually. I didn't get it. I don't know. Really. Oh, my bad. This is not a question. Yeah. It's just a statement, okay? <laughs> There's a next one. The next statement. Okay. You are in a relationship, and they go behind your back to get with your significant oh. other. Hello, beautiful people. I know it's been a minute, but in YouTube world, it's been just a second. You just clicked, and it, I'm just right here. I want to thank you for watching this latest Wise Aisha Talks Friendship Panel Series episode. It's been amazing editing these episodes and we're almost at the end. This is the second to last episode in this series. So if you haven't watched all of the previous episodes, make sure you go ahead and do that on the playlist. They're all there. And also stay tuned for the next episode. And you heard correct. The last question that I posed was in relation to some shady business. You know, who's more likely to go behind your back to get with your significant other? So I hope that you are all tuning in to watch the next episode. And please remember to stay happy and be blessed. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>